Hi everyone, this is Kim Chi. And this is Naomi Smalls. And we are your makeup girls. M. U. G. What's that spell? Ma. Hello, darlings. It's me, Mrs. Kasha Davis, everybody's favorite drag mom. <laughs> At any rate, you know that drag con is coming. Mother's Day weekend, take your mother to drag con May 11th, 12th, and 13th. For tickets, go to RuPaul'sDragCon.com. It's on the www. Oh, today we're gonna give you a glimpse into when we get ready. It's basically like us talking shit and Naomi playing bad music and <laughs> telling her to stop. <laughs> Naomi definitely takes longer. I definitely take longer to start getting it. Like, so for drag con when we stayed together, like I would get up like 30 minutes before Kim and she'd still be ready before, before me, yeah. waiting on me like at the door. Well, we both get started with our brows. Our brows are first up. In her case, sculpt her brows and make them longer. Mm -hmm. And in my case, I'm gonna cover my brows. They're not lace fronts? Not yet. <laughs> They're Webster wigs. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get our head condoms on. <laughs> Pro tip, cheapest Botox in the world is just wig caps. Pro tip, Botox. <laughs> hey, what have you had done? Um, I've had my forehead done and my lips done. What about you? Your lips done? That's crazy. I've never gotten anything done because I believe in natural beauty. So that's why you put your eyebrows like five inches higher than your arms and... Exactly. I am applying moisturizer. Go with that brown and wet fantasy. I'm using Josie Moran. Um, Argan Infinity Intensive Creamy Oil. So I feel like the very first layer of glue is like the most important. You want to smear it all around to get the glue really in there. And then after the first layer, I only brush it one way. I'm starting with my brows. I use Anastasia Dip Brow and Chocolate. I don't know exactly know how it started, but for some reason my eyebrows just kept getting longer and longer and longer and longer. Naomi, what have you been up to? I haven't seen you in so long. <laughs> so, so, so long. <laughs> this is like literally our daily routine. It's like so stagnant, but I kind of like it. Mm -hmm. Holy shit, that's a lot of glue. It's only the first layer and I gotta do like four more. Do you miss having no eyebrows? It definitely like made it easier, but I also like looking human when I'm not doing drag. What did you I fuck totally up? my brow up. Just like, do you see? Oh yeah. Like I went way too high with it and it's really supposed to go down. You can conceal around it. Exactly. <laughs> as long as like it's not sad, you can always fix it. Yeah, as long as there's not powder on top of it, normally yeah. you can. But once you put powder on top, it's just game over. Pro tip, if you want your glue to dry, like on a jiffy, blow dryer on a cool setting. Layer two, here we go. Does it really speed it up that much? Yeah. Yeah. Significantly. Right now I'm covering up all this discoloration using a uh, MAC full coverage foundation. And then you gotta set your glue to some setting powder. I use air spun. Oh, uh, now I'm applying the foundation all over my face. I'm contouring my forehead now. I use like a darker cream. I like to go as dark as possible because once I set it, it becomes a little bit lighter and I like a maximum contrast. I'm setting my foundation. Even though we set like the highlight and contour, we go in and both of us go in and use powder. You never want to look like one skin tone on stage. Since Drag Race, have you seen a lot of your makeup everywhere? I see more of your makeup everywhere. You definitely have like a signature look that's like attainable, but like works for like real world as well, you know? Like no one's gonna go on the street looking like me, but people will go out on the street looking like you. All your features are like so exaggerated yeah. that you're gonna be like the queen to copy from season eight. I actually use like a lip brush from Sugar Pill to contour my nose because it's like sharp and it's easy to like get it precise. If you had to choose any drag race queen mm -hmm. to paint you, who would you choose? India Farah. Any fun. Her makeup is like so exaggerated and distinct. Who would you want to paint your face? I think I would want the opposite of my face, so like something really big and exaggerated too. Okay, I'll paint you. <laughs> I would let you paint me. I would love to, to do each other one day. Oh, your face is too small. <laughs> I feel like the eye makeup alone is just gonna like take up your entire face. Literally, I think like your eyes are probably like this big. Yeah. I think like being painted by Trixie or Bianca would be cool. Yeah. Just because I can legit never, I couldn't even imagine what my face would look like. Mm 
Do you make a fa- you don't make any faces. No. No. I'm just trying to get my cheekbones high. <laughs> and sometimes I have to look like a f-ing fish to do it. I'm setting my makeup so it doesn't move around as I apply powder all over. Pro tip, don't set your makeup like me. I'm using the blush from Anastasia Beverly Hills. It comes in three different tones. This one is called Pink Passion. Just giving, adding like a contrast to my skin tone. So from stage it looks like my cheekbones are way higher than it actually is. Yeah. I'm not doing a brow today, so I'm just gonna do like an eyelid makeup. That's like really intense. And I'm gonna do like a little halo eye makeup. Uh, I'm gonna do like a really intense blue smoky eye today. And I'm using Velocity from Sugar Pill. Probably my favorite blue that exists. I'm taking the um, foundation off my lips now, so when I do apply the lipstick, it goes on cleanly. So what'd you think of season nine? When I saw Gaga come out on season nine, I was like just, like the inner high school little monster was just like fuming with jealousy. But you got to meet um, Gigi Hadid and Chanel Iman. True. On our season. And Mark Jacobs for me. I loved it. I think my favorite episode was the reunion. These girls just like went at it and I kind of like live for that kind of drama and reality television show. Yeah. Like I don't want to like live through it, but I love watching it. Or adults in wigs, there's gonna be drama. And we're in heels all day. So going through that experience, how do you think it prepped you for tours and fans and all of that? Before Drag Race, I didn't necessarily have a, like a lot of drag friends, mm-hmm. and I wasn't really around drag queens as much as I am now. Yeah. Um, so it's like de- I've definitely learned to deal with a lot of personalities. It's like nice to be able to make friends with people who are like just as interested in something that I'm interested in. I just put um, lip liner on my lips, and now I'm like blending it out, and then I'm gonna. Put the color middle and fade it out. It's all lip liner. Um, I'm using Chestnut from MAC. It's like the color is like so dark and crisp. Now I'm blending the liquid lipstick into my lip. Um, the liquid lipstick I'm using is from Huda Beauty. And the color is called Trendsetter. Now I'm applying like the highlight color to my lip. Season two is my favorite season of Drag Race. I feel like those girls like came for a competition. What do you think Bob did with his money, Kim? Uh, not spend it on wigs. <coughs> not spend it on outfits. Definitely didn't spend it on makeup. So I'm using an eyeliner brush from Anastasia to put on my eyeliner. The eyeliner is also from Anastasia called Jet. And I feel like a really sharp angled brush like helps me get that precision in my eyes. I'm just doing a little low liner just to like make my eyes look bigger in the bottom too. Oh, when I first started, I thought I was fishy. <laughs> so I tried to do like real girl makeup, but clearly I don't have like the facial structures for it. So it just started getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Now I'm setting my face, all the powders on his face with. What was it like doing makeup on someone for the first time? It's really hard to get symmetry, especially if you're like right-handed. It's harder to do the left side. Well, the first time um, you did someone else's makeup, the makeover challenge on Drag Race. Yeah. Really? Thankfully, she's like naturally gorgeous. <laughs> My lashes are double ups from Ardell and 600. And then I stack a pair of, yeah, 302. They're like really spidery, like, um, lashes that Bianca actually uses for like her bottom. Because I have such hooded eyes, I like to like have a lot of space in between the lashes. Oh. Is that Bob? Is that what? Bob. Bob? Oh my God. <laughs> He's just called me. Hi, Bob. We're filming an episode of Mug right now. Give us a makeup tip. I'm about to say, are you gonna ask me for advice? <laughs> when you're doing your makeup, just pick on this attitude. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> do whatever you want to do, I don't care. Get back to your incredibly successful makeup show that everyone watches. <laughs> Love you, bye. I use some lash glue to put the stones on, cause like a lash glue has like a bit of like a stretch to it. So even like when I move my face around, it doesn't fall off. All right, my makeup is done. Hey Naomi, would you like to talk while you do your um, lips? Uh Uh-huh. Naomi, how far along are you? I think I'm done. Do I look done to you? 
As good as it gets. <laughs> <laughs> Hi everyone, this is Kim Chi. And this is Naomi Smalls. And we are your makeup girls. M. U. G. What does that spell? No. Can't do it. Mug. Mug. Okay. Mug. <laughs> <laughs> 